Timberlane with Top Hat Framing. And today we're going to take you through the sequence of roll forming a two inch top hat roof frame. We're going to start with our 16 gauge coils. These are commercial grade G90 galvanized coils. However, we can also roll this product in a high tensile grade steel not only in 16 but also in 14 gauge for projects that need additional strength. This is an 8.34 inch wide product that's going to make the two inch section. Top Hat also makes a three and a half inch tall section with additional punches that will give it clearance for those higher standing seam profiles. What you've got set up on this uh, decoiler right here are two coils and once this first coil is done that machine will actually rotate around still in line where it will feed itself into this leveling machine or line leveler. There's a small motor that will that will tug the coil off that spool and slowly feed it into the press punch machine. If that wasn't in play the energy that was stored in this coil as it, as it spins slowly and wants to tug back would do the same thing inside that punch. And we want these to be at 12 inch centers or 18 inch centers or 24 inch centers, whatever the, whatever the run calls for, to be consistent. And this, and this assures that it doesn't pull that coil back out of that machine. After going through the coil loop, which keeps it from, from over pulling the coil, it's now going to go into the punch. And inside the punch is where a lot of the work takes place. That's where it's going to punch the donut out. And it's also going to give us two 516 holes that are going to allow the contractor to have a, a focus point where he's going to put his fasteners. This order calls for panel punches at 12 inch center for the R panel. There's also custom fasteners for the top hat framing system. It's made to drop inside that 5 16th hole. It's a quarter inch tech screw specifically made to properly attach top hat to a building. What we've got now at this point is at 12 inch centers, the R panel profiles are punched out. The 5 16th pilot holes are in place. And we're going to slowly feed it into the roll form itself where it will start to give top hat its unique profile. And, and provide a lot of the unique capabilities that owners and contractors are going to find very useful. We've watched this part be punched, gone through the roll former, and now the final phase before packing is going to be this cutoff die. And we can run this die at any length the customer wants. So they want them to be 12 foot, 14 foot, 16 foot, 20 footers are what this order called for and uh, that pretty much gives them the lengths that they want to handle their job. At that point, the parts are going to be brought over, stacked up, banded. There's almost 100 pieces in this particular order. There's almost enough to do uh, about 100 squares. 10,000 square foot of roof can be sheeted with this top hat bundle right here. Nice, all pre-punched ready to be loaded on a truck and shipped to a job site.